Piper and I'm from kidsinterviewbands.com and I'm here with Frank from Hatebreed. What song or artist would most people be surprised that you like? Um, I don't know. I always try to tell everybody that they shouldn't be ashamed of what they like and not have any guilty pleasures and, you know, uh, you listen to whatever you like. So, uh, but with that being said, it might be shocking that I listen to Kenny Chesney um, and, and some modern country. I don't, I don't discriminate against genres of music. You know, if I hear a song I like, it doesn't matter what kind of music it is, I like it, so. Who in the band has the best sense of direction and who has the worst? I have one of the worst, for sure. Um, I'll, I would get lost if I had to just walk from here to the bus out back, probably, even though we've been here a hundred times. Um, but my bass player, Chris, has a great sense of direction. Anytime somebody's going out to get food or whatever, I usually go with him just because I know that we're not going to end up getting lost. So Chris definitely has the best sense of direction. What's the spookiest thing that's ever happened to you? The what? Spookiest thing that's ever happened to you. Spookiest thing? Hmm. I don't know, I stayed at a friend of mine's house that I heard was haunted before, and I swear that like, all night long, um, I never talked about it with him, and we never mentioned it, it was never mentioned by him, but I've heard from other people, you know that house is haunted, and one night I just heard someone pounding at the front door all night long, and, and, and like, I heard stuff moving in the room, I felt something touch me. Uh, too many coincidences for it, me to think that it, was uh, not real. I couldn't sleep at all, and it wasn't until the sun came up that I finally fell asleep. That was probably the spookiest thing that's happened to me. I don't know if that that would be hard to top. I think so. Hopefully, nothing like that happens again. But now, I used to say I don't believe in ghosts, but after that night, maybe I, maybe I might change my mind. If a kid comes to your home on Halloween and says trick or treat, what trick would you do? Hmm. I don't think anything too terrible because I really enjoy um, Halloween and, and, and that was a big part of growing up for me and trick-or-treating. I think I did it till I was about 16 years old till the parents were slamming their door in my face telling me I was too old. And even now I, I go to Disney World and do their Halloween party and we get candy there and stuff. So I really, really enjoy it and I, I really get excited to see you know the kids dress up and, and people in general uh, celebrate it. And, and so I, I don't think it would be anything too mean. I don't know if I would have it in my heart to scare the heck out of them, but uh, I would have to think of something. It would probably just be a treat and get candy and that would be it, so. What's the best costume you ever wore? I have a lot. I have a lot of costumes that I've wore. Um, I dressed up as every year we dress up and uh, we were the rock group Kiss once and I was Gene Simmons and my, bass, my, my drummer was Paul Stanley and a couple of my other friends were the other members. Um, one year my girlfriend went as Count Chocula and I went as Captain Crunch. Um, we dressed up as the 80's band Devo. Um, last year we were Disney villains and I was um, Governor Radcliffe from Pocahontas and my girlfriend was Corella DeVille and my son was Gaston. Um, all kinds of stuff, you know. I have a closet full of costumes. I've been Fred Flintstone before. I've been John Smith from Pocahontas. Like I, I'm, at this point, I'm considering opening a Halloween costume rental. There's so many costumes up there. So, um, if you want to, if you want to see all the pictures, uh, if you if you add Florida Frank on Facebook, you can find me on there, and I have uh, an album on there that documents most of that stuff. So, if if you want to check it out, you can see me on Facebook at Florida Frank. And on Instagram as well, that's my, my, my username. When's the last time you went to the library and do you remember what you checked out? I don't read a lot. Um, I probably should do that more. I think that that's important that people, young people read and um, I just think that, that, that it, it makes you so much smarter of a person that educates you, just reading in general. Um, but I don't have the attention span for that. I can't even watch movies because I just can't sit still for that long. Um, but um, there's a great bookstore in Portland, Oregon called Powell's Books and it's this huge, huge, huge place. And I don't even read a lot, like I said, but I, even when I go in there, I think the least amount of time I spend in there was like two hours. And it's just amazing. And no matter what you're into, you can find something to read there. I mean, I would read something if it's something interesting about like maybe another musician has a biography out or something like that or I really enjoy cooking when I'm home and I'm not on tour that's what I wanted to be when I was a kid long before this
Um, so I would like to read uh, cookbooks and recipes and things like that. I still go old school and will look at recipes because I know everything nowadays is online, but I still like to look at old cookbooks and stuff. So I used to watch my grandmother cook a lot when I was a kid, and I think that's where I got that from. So. And finally, can you name all the Spice Girls? No, I can't. I could probably name all the Seven Dwarfs though, but I, all the Spice Girls, there's Ginger, Sporty, Man, I have a friend who, one of my best friends, really loves Spice Girls. He's gonna be really disappointed if he sees this. Ginger's one, Sporty Spice. Uh, that's it. I'm tapped out. What are, the, what are the three I'm missing? Posh. Posh Spice. How can I forget the girl with the dark hair, right? Baby and Scary. Scary. I would have never remembered Baby. But baby. You like the Spice Girls? You don't care either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for an interview. Thank you.